nothing's been compiled, nothing is really even cataloged about um, Worcester's kind of agricultural era during its like height of its agricultural period. It was like absolute dairy empire, shipping millions of tons to butter into Boston, milk, all of this stuff for a long time, super lucrative. And it really changed the way things developed before industrialization, like all the roads were designed to compensate the weight of milk trucks. Alexis and I this summer have partnered with the Greater Worcester Land Trust and have been studying the dairy industry in Worcester, specifically focusing on the pre-industrial era in Worcester and kind of putting together the history that used to be there. Agriculture teaches us about the way we interact with each other, how food is created, and then food therefore just shapes culture, so how we interact with each other, how we understand our past, our future. Um, so I think that's what brought me to this project, and I think dairy is such a staple of American agriculture. So understanding where we came from, how it was processed, how we used to do things, because um, as sort of the industry wanes a little bit, maybe there are things we used to do we could start doing again. So we're really working to piece that back together, kind of fill in all these gaps and giving that resource back to the Greater Worcester Land Trust. It's been a really beneficial project to kind of connect us to the Greater Worcester community. Um, in fact, we're working with like a great local organization who's concerned with preserving land within Worcester. It's just like really great to have those partnerships between Holy Cross and the community. So it's important to kind of solidify this lost history um, in a way that people can now learn about today. Because I do think it is important to know that there's this large industry and all these people involved in it. And the fact that this history has been kind of lost is kind of sad. And like there should be a way to celebrate because Worcester wouldn't be what it is today without this agricultural dairy industry past.